Hi there everyone, this is Dino Sasha here and welcome back to another review. And today we're gonna take a look at the figure, it is the Safari LTD 2004 Smilodon. Now, Smilodon, which name means Knife Tooth, is a, an extinct genus of the Machairodon subfamily of the Felis. It is one of the most famous prehistoric mammals and the best known as saber-toothed cat. They live in around early Pleistocene to early Holocene, about 2.5 to 0 0.01 million years ago, what is known as North and South America. The Smilodon has cap cap of a variety of sizes, which is the larger and small, but the largest, but the smallest, were only weighted is only at about 55 to 100 kilograms, or 100 to 220 pounds. And the and Fatilis one weigh up for a 160 to 280 kilograms or 350 to 620 pounds. In the height it was about 100 centimeters. But the populator on your hand in hand weighed over a 220 to 436 kilograms or approximately 485 to 961 pounds. And the height was about 120 centimeters and 47 inches in height. And now, Smilodon is known to be the apex predator of the South America, but it ultimate, but the old former predator of North America. But I think that's in fact this smaller one is in fact a Smilodon fatilis. Basically, it's one of the smaller subspecies. Sometimes the Smilodon has much compared to a member of our compared to a family because the Closest is the Macaronae subfamily, so they're consistent with the other subspecies, like the Deinophiles, which is our cl the closest cousin. Now, they're carnivores and they basically eat meat, and so basically, the Smilodon popularity becomes the king of the South America. So, let's talk about the sculpt on this figure. The sculpt looks nice, and I think I like that sculpt because this is a really impressive. And yes, this is an old Smilodon, I think. This is a considered to be one of the Smilodons or Sabertooths, I think. This is a really nice figure, because you remember my old review? Well, so I have to redo it. So, it's a remake version, so... this I like the sculpt on this figure, it looks nice, and it looks quite old, and I think it's really nice to me, so... Now, the pose is like an attacking pose, it's pose is a threat or attacking something like a prey. Which might be a, a mammoth. Well, basically, I like the details because it's really smooth figure. Because this is a really nice. But for this time, but this figure is in fact not as impressive as you think. But I feel this figure is might be considered to be a Smilodon Fatilis who attacking for a prey. Now, I was talking about something else, like the color scheme. You might know, the color scheme is beige. The... All of the body is beige, it has brown stripes and a white face and eyes and a underbody which is and has black colors on the paws and it's it has a tail and especially on the gap of its mouth. Now according to that this Smilodon has a very centrist issues of the head. It has a, a, a much yellowish or grayish teeth on it. And the tongue sculpted well because of that jaws of the saber tooth. Yeah, the smile dog looks a bit nice figure because I know what if I thinking the saber tooth looks right now. And yes, I know that the smile dog is one of the few predators that is, that live in the South America and North America. So basically, I like the figure so much because also it's brown tail and a white tail, but such as a grayish and white tail that. I still like the figure, well, not as bad with you thinking, but yeah, I still like this figure for once, but luckily, I just was impressed. So, the accuracy. Accuracy looks nice, it's rather a smile on Fatilis, but I think it's a resultation of descent from a lion. And yeah, Paparini is actually more descent relative to what it seems. Well, from now on, I think I have to do something. We're gonna take a look at the ruler, so let's give this smile on a measure. It turns from the length of the tip of the tail, always tip of the snout, we're looking at about almost at like four and a half inches, which is approximately length is about 
hmm, 11 centimeters, kind of high, which is the on top of the head. We're looking at about approximately three, two point thirteen centimeters inches, which is only at about six centimeters. Now, for comparison, I can bring up some other Smilodons. Here is with the Collecte 2015 Smilodon, the retired figure for once, and I basically, that could be a resultation what it seems to be. Well, this one has a concern that this one has no genitalia, that means in a dinosaur world, it's a female Smilodon, while Collecte one on the other hand has a genitalia, that means it's a male. It's a, I guess if you have mates, but I believe it's named Zoe from Dinosaur Island, or Dinosaur World is specifically a alternate version of Dinosaur Island. And for another and last comparison, here is the, the largest leader, Papo Roaring Smilodon, which is a really nice figure. I know, but I don't like this pose who is standing like that, because I don't like that pose, but sometimes it's just stand at war and, and it can, it's too much for eating. And yeah, basically that's a really nice figure. Well, a lost. And for the final rating, and I'll give it a certainly nine out of ten because this figure most of all liked. And yeah, most people have reviewed some figure all a while, but sometimes it's a resultation to be a predator and half prey. So Smilodons are excellent hunters. So basically, the saber tooths are now the part of a family right now. So basically. I'm gonna put it with this Smilodon right there, along with the our uh, alternate Roaring Papo and a Collecte Retired 15 Smilodons. They're actually part of the three Smilodon parts, so this Sabertooths are exactly the same cats. And yes, I think it's concerned to be the members of the Smilodon family, and yes, this is concerned to be the leader of the Sabertooth pair, and I believe this is a really nice so, but I still like the Sabertooth family, but I have concern. It's a really impressive. And I believe there's another review will be on a Papo Feathered Velociraptor, and it basically will be on upcoming now. Well anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, hit the like, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell for notifications. So you'll never miss the video, and leave a comment below, and I hope you see for another review about the Papo 2016 Feathered Velociraptor. Goodbye, everyone, and see you all next time.